Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to this final episode of my Great American Rail Journey. Right now I'm in Boston, Massachusetts, heading to the South Station to catch my Amtrak overnight Northeast Regional train to Washington, D.C. There, I'm going to have a little layover before I connect and take the Carolinian back home to Charlotte, North Carolina. Come along for the ride on my final episode of my Great American Rail Journey. Let's go. This final leg of my journey is actually going to be on two different Amtrak routes. The first one is the Northeast Regional, and there's a variety of different ways I could have done it. I could have gone from Boston to New York and spent the night. I could have gone to Boston to Washington, D.C. and spent the night. But what I decided to do to uh, maximize my time here in Boston is to take the latest train out of Boston, take it overnight, and then it gets into Washington, D.C. around 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then I have about four or five hours in Washington, D.C. So if the train's on time, I'm gonna check my bags into another bounce luggage storage facility and walk around our nation's capital for a few hours and then get back on the train and head home to Charlotte. Behind me is Boston South Station. I arrived here in Boston on the Lakeshore Limited in the South Station, but it was late at night, so I didn't get any photos or videos of it. So there it is in all of its glory. I'm looking forward to going inside and then taking my overnight train from here down to Washington, D.C. Tonight will be my 10th and final night sleeping on a train in coach on this great American rail journey. Fingers crossed I get a seat by myself. <laughs> you know, this is actually a really nice station. They've got a wide variety of different places to get food. Uh, they've got a great big CVS pharmacy here as well as some other places that you can get snacks and drinks and that kind of stuff. So I've really uh, enjoyed this Boston South Station. It's really nice. Headed out to track six for the Northeast Regional to Washington, D.C. After stopping in New York City, I got a little shut-eye before arriving in Philadelphia. Fresh air stop in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And this fresh air stop is the longest one that I've had by far. It's a three hour fresh air break here in Philadelphia. The only downside of that is it's 1.45 in the morning and the train rolls out at 4.45 in the morning. So I can't go do or see anything, unfortunately. Oh well, I am gonna go upstairs to the station. They said there's a uh, Dunkin' Donuts or something open. I'm just gonna go walk around, check it out for a bit. Wow, this is a beautiful station. I'm glad I came up here to check it out. There's actually quite a bit going on. There's a whole lot more people awake than what I thought would be. Um, but like I say, the Dunkin's open. They even said there's a little bookstore 
that's open 24 hours. Huh, interesting. All right, time to head back down to the train. Try to get some shut-eye. Eh, easier said than done. These cars aren't nearly as comfortable as the other ones. There's not nearly as much leg room. It doesn't have the leg extension, leg rest or anything like that. I honestly can't remember what car I'm on. I think it's this one. It's a pretty big gap. Let's see if this is it. Yep, this is me. miles at eight states I've now arrived in our nation's capital of Washington DC station here in Washington DC. It's been several years since I've been here uh, but I have been to this train station before. Uh, we used to do school field trips uh, to Washington DC and we would always come to Union Station even though we were on a bus. This would always be one of our food court stops that uh, we'd have dinner at. So I've been here quite a few times actually but only once or twice by train itself. But it's been a long time, like literally 25 years probably since I was here on a train. Anyhow, nice to be back and getting closer to home. All right, dropped off the bags at the luggage storage facility. So now I'm headed towards the capital right now. Again, I don't really have any plans for today as far as what I'm going to do. Um, I've been to Washington several times, so I'm probably just going to walk around and try to get some steps in. Maybe I'll walk from one end all the way to the other end of the mall, all the way down to the... Lincoln Memorial, we'll just see. I do know one thing, that was the absolute coldest train I've ever been on in my life last night. It was so cold, I'm so glad I didn't check my luggage or wasn't able to check my luggage because I had to get into my big suitcase to get out my, um, my sleeping bag. Man, I had my toboggan on, I was wrapped up in my sleeping bag, it was still cold. Definitely not the best seats in the world though, for sure. I'm so used to those superliner cars where the seats are really big and you've got tons of uh, tons of leg room. Definitely not in that car I had last night, for sure. I tell you, it feels great out here this morning. I don't know what the temperature is. I'm gonna guess probably 65 degrees, but it just feels fantastic. A whole lot better than what that train felt last night. I think it was like 40 degrees on the train. Like I say, I don't really have any set plans for today. I just figured whenever I was planning this trip, I had to make a stop somewhere between Boston and Charlotte. Whether that was overnight in New York, overnight here in Washington, DC. I even looked at Fredericksburg, Maryland, uh, getting off the train and spending the night there or spending a few hours or something like that. But um, as it worked out, I did the last night on the train and that gave me several hours this morning to go around Washington, D.C. And with my Great American Rail journey going all over the country, 36 states in 30 days, um, I figured what better place to finish up my trip than here in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. I'll just walk backwards because there's better sunlight this way. What stinks is the Smithsonian Museums don't open up until 10 o'clock this morning and my train leaves at 11.08. So by the time I go back and get my luggage and then get something for lunch to take on the train with me, I just wouldn't have time to go through any of them. And I hate that because I love the Smithsonian Museums, especially this one right over here, which is the Museum of American History.
So I think my goal for the day here in Washington is gonna be real simple. It's just gonna be walk down to the end of the mall to the Lincoln Memorial and back. Seems real simple, doesn't cost anything, gets me lots of exercise and lets me see Washington DC in a great way by foot. By the way, if you've enjoyed this video so far, please smash that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you've not only enjoyed this video, but all of my other Great American Rail Journey videos, I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't seen those yet, please subscribe so you can go back easily and watch the other ones. They're probably better than this video, to be honest with you. It's totally free, it doesn't cost you anything, and it helps me out. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So go ahead, smash that subscribe button, and join me for all of the other journeys that I take. Behind me is the Washington Monument, which is obviously the tallest building here in Washington, D.C. And from the school trips that we went on several years ago, I remember the tour guide telling us exactly how tall it was. And I'll never forget because he had a little song. It's 555 and 5 and 1 eighths. So 555 feet, 5 and 1 eighths inches. The World War II Memorial right here behind me is one of my favorite monuments in all of Washington, D.C. It means even more to me now after visiting uh, Normandy, France last summer and seeing the beaches of Normandy and going to the cemetery there. So uh, truly our greatest generation. What a great time to be in Washington, D.C. I got here around seven o'clock this morning and other than the people jogging and running and maybe on their bikes, there's really nobody here. There's no tourists or anything. So again, like I mentioned in some of my earlier videos, when you go to these places that are heavily touristed, start early, start early in the day. You get to see things that other people don't see and you get to be places that are usually packed with nobody. You have it all to yourself, it's great. I'm now approaching the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. This is definitely one of the more touching memorials here in Washington for sure. Look at that beautiful white bone. I know that was his name. What a rare sight being able to walk down through here with no one else here. Just amazing. And the thousands and thousands and thousands of names inscribed along the marble here in the wall. Wow, that's just crazy, all those names. And hard to believe that, you know, when the soldiers that did survive came home, they were booed for it and, and and looked down upon by many and unbelievable gosh i mean they're out there risking their lives for our country and freedom around the world and whew, mm, terrible i can't believe it i just got a message from amtrak that my train is delayed what a fitting end to my journey you know 30 days ago i started this journey and my first train from charlotte to new orleans was delayed and then my train from new orleans to los angeles was delayed and then another train from Portland to Chicago was delayed. And then now my final train of the trip, the Carolinian that leaves from New York, picks me up here in Washington and arrives in Charlotte. Of course, delayed. That's all right, gives me more time to look around Washington. Well, they're clearly doing some work on the Lincoln Memorial. Heavens to Betsy.
My favorite monument here in Washington, D.C. is, of course, the Lincoln Memorial. There's Honest Abe right there. Love this place. Here's another one of my very favorite monuments here in Washington, D.C. This is the Korea War Memorial. I just got another message from Amtrak and the Carolinian still hasn't left New York. It was supposed to leave at 7.20 this morning from New York City and now it says estimated departure time 9.20 a.m. which puts it two hours late. So again, another late train, but again, that's all right. It gives me more time here in Washington to look around. And who knows, with that, maybe now I'll have time to see some of the Museum of American History. Hey, that's a good thing. Right now, I'm in the American Museum of Natural History. One of the coolest things about this museum is they have the Hope Diamond here on display. Just leaving the Museum of Natural History and headed next door to my favorite one, the Museum of American History. That's the one I really wanted to go to first, but I missed it along the way. Anyhow, I got a uh, message from Amtrak and my train, the Carolinian, has left New York. It left at 10.06 a.m. and it's running about two and a half hours behind. Perfectly fine with me, gives me more time here in Washington. I love history, especially American history. So this is my favorite museum here in Washington, D.C., the National Museum of American History. Let's go inside. That was a lot of fun. I love American history and I, and I love how so many of the things in there kind of ties together some of the things that I've seen on this trip, whether it was the Lewis and Clark Trail uh, and the Westward Expansion, um, the Berlin Wall and the fall of communism that I saw back at the Ronald Reagan Library and even the World War II with the bomb uh, with the Manhattan Project when I was in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Uh, and then a whole bunch of other things as well, but it just that section of the museum just tied everything together that I've seen on this trip. It just tied it all up, so that was just great. All right, well, the good news is the Carolinian has left New York City and it's on its way here to Washington, D.C. It's running about two and a half hours behind, so I'm headed back to go pick up my bags and then head on to Union Station, but 
It doesn't bother me that it's been delayed. It's given me an extra couple hours here in Washington, D.C. I didn't think I was going to get to go through the Smithsonian at all, and I went through the Natural History Museum and the Museum of American History, albeit pretty quick, but I still did it. So, uh, a lot of fun. Got my baggage from the storage facility, and now I'm back here in Union Station. I've walked 10.77 miles in Washington, D.C. today. I'm really tired, so now I'm gonna um, just go get something to eat and just relax for a little while before my train comes. Just waiting on my train 79 Carolinian to arrive here in Washington, D.C. It's kind of sad, this 30-day journey is coming to an end. I've got one leg left to go, and uh, that's it. But it does feel great. I uh, had a long day today. I walked about 10 miles before I got back to Union Station. And then I went into the bathroom and changed all new clothes, put all everything brand new on, so I'm not sweaty or stinky or anything for the last train ride home. So uh, looking forward to this last ride back to Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, we'll see what kind of footage we can get from here on out. Well, here we go, the final leg of my journey, leaving Washington, D.C., headed down to Charlotte. It's been a long 30 days, but it's been fun. For this last leg of my trip, um, I actually bought it separately because I'd used the other 10 segments for my USA Rail Pass on other travel. So I bought this one separate, so I had the opportunity to upgrade, and I upgraded and got business class. It didn't cost me very much extra, so I thought, well, for the last little leg home, I might as well do business class. the train here in Richmond for a brief fresh air break. The train's running about four or five hours behind schedule. I don't care, it doesn't matter. It would actually be kind of cool to get to Charlotte after midnight because my 30-day Great American Rail journey would actually technically turn into a 31-day Great American Rail journey. We'll see if that happens, I don't know. You know, they call these fresh air breaks, but sometimes they're not fresh air breaks because people are smoking like so close to the door and it stinks but it is nice to get off the train and stretch your legs. By the way, Virginia, where I'm at now, is the last and final state on my Great American Rail journey. Virginia makes state number 36 of this trip. All right, I think it's time to get back on the train. Let's go. Air stop of the trip, Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm about three hours away from home. The train's running about four hours late. I should have been home already, but that's all right, not a big deal. I might get to expand my 30-day Great America Rail journey into 31 days. Uh, it's probably gonna happen. Anyhow, it feels great to step off the train. My seat's like right in there. And yeah, the first couple months I'm gonna have to Okay, I'll, I'll let you go well, after 31 days, 36 states, and 13,265 miles, my Great American Rail journey has come to an end. We're rolling into Charlotte, North Carolina really soon. I'm looking forward to sleeping in my bed, but I've had the best time on 11 different Amtrak routes. I've really enjoyed talking to the conductor of this train. His name is Ed. He's been very informative, giving me lots of information. And uh, I think it's because it's a late train. There's not that many people on here. And so, uh, thanks Conductor Ed for all that you've done and for your help on tonight's train. If you've enjoyed this journey, please click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
to not only watch this video, but watch all the other ones that I've made. And if you're one of the many people that I've met along the way, please put in the comments where I met you, on what route you were on, because um, it was the best part about doing these trips is not only seeing all these great places, but the best part is meeting other people. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. I have arrived. I'm here. Got to pick up my luggage and then hop in the car, go home, and get to bed. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.